Chapter 1 George and Harold. This is George Beard and Harold Hutchins. George is the kid on the left with the tie and the flat top. We rule! Harold is the one on the right with the t shirt and the bad haircut. Me too! Remember that now. Hey, George, this book is about us! Um, Harold, can you stop interrupting the narrator? I'm trying to listen. Sorry. At most schools, the teachers try to emphasize the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. But George and Harold's teacher, Miserable, was more concerned with enforcing what she called the three S's. Sit down, shut your pie holes, and stop driving me crazy! While this was unfortunate for all of her students, it was especially bad for George and Harold because they were very imaginative boys. You see, imagination was not really encouraged at George and Harold's school. In fact, it was discouraged. Imagination would only get you a one-way ticket to the principal's office. This was sad for George and Harold because they didn't get straight A's, they weren't sports stars, and they could barely walk down the hallway without getting into trouble. Yeah, like the time we changed the letters around on the sign outside the gym. You mean the one that said, people, please wear your socks on the gym floor? <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> we changed it to say, please go pee-pee on your socks for warmth. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was awesome. awesome. See what I mean? But George and Harold had one thing that most of the other folks at Jerome Horowitz Elementary School didn't have. Imagination. They were full of it. And one day they would use that imagination to save the entire human race from being overthrown by a crazed woman with even crazier superpowers. But before I can tell you that story, I have to tell you this story.